Hey, what's happening on my YouTube peeps? Thanks for stopping back by the channel today. So we're doing a little bit of cleaning and organization in the garage again. Uh, started putting more stuff back in here. Got our first uh, pallets and skids delivered of boxes for our tool heads crate. So we uh, got some of that stuff going and I just had a couple of things going through my mind. Got to thinking and a couple of the questions that I've been getting from other people was some of the things on how I made money when I was starting out on the side. Everybody's got to have that little side hustle with them and that's one of those things us as mechanics we have all kinds of different venues so I want to go through those with you today of what kind of side hustles and side gigs that I started out with when I started my career as a mechanic so I could make money and just stay afloat. So the first thing that comes to mind when you think of side hustle and as a mechanic is obviously flipping cars. One of the things that we as mechanics like to do is to fix things. So what we do, we buy things that are broken, fix them, resell them for a profit. Everybody in today's market, they really want to just have something that's reliable and something that's easy. They don't know how to do all those major fixes. And us as mechanics, we have the tools, the knowledge, and the know-how just to be able to get these things done. You can pick up cars cheap, like really cheap on Facebook Marketplace, on Craigslist. You get some of these cars that, I don't know, needs a head gasket, needs something major that somebody really doesn't want to mess with, and we'll do the fixes and hopefully be able to turn and make a profit on those. So looking at the positives to flipping cars, there are millions of them out there. There are just tons and tons of them across all your local sites, across your Facebook ads, just everywhere. You can find them a dime a dozen. You can find them for really cheap too. So the work is out there. and. On the fortunately, on the negative side of things, they do generally take a lot of work. Some of us, if you don't have the space, like my garage, this is my garage, which I don't have a lot of room, especially for cars that are a little bit bigger. So I really don't have the place to be able to do the flipping cars. Since I work at a dealership, I can't really do all that work while I'm on the clock or at the dealership. It, just doesn't look so well. So flipping cars may not be the thing for you just for those reasons. One of the other negatives for that would be you have to deal with customers then. You are taking these cars and you are fixing them and then you are looking for customers to be able to sell them to. Usually flipping them and selling them again on social media sources or Craigslist along those lines. Some people are not the most honest, so you're trying to look for buyers who are honest, buyers are trying to look for sellers who are honest, and of course people are people and they're not always very honest. They might try to scam you out of you know, getting extra things done, or they get the car and they call you back and say, oh you guys just sold me a lemon because this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, and they're just trying to get an extra buck out of you. So you've got that to worry about as well. Going off that on the negative side is the sellers aren't very honest all the time as well. You go to buy these cars and say you're buying this car for a thousand bucks because they said it needs a head gasket. You're like, you know what? I can do that head gasket, you know, three hours, four hours, and you know, I've only got a hundred bucks in it. I can do that, no problem. You get it, you find out, oh, it jumped time. The head is junk. It just hammered all the valves, so it's not just a head gasket. You also found that it needs a battery. It needs tires, it needs wheel bearings. All these things you're going to have to take into account somewhat, so you're going to have to be able to inspect these cars, take a whole lot of extra time to be able to go through them thoroughly before you purchase them. That's why in my personal history, I don't see that flipping cars is such a productive way to earn money on the side. Having to deal with all those extra hardships just really isn't worth the extra time and money for me, especially since I don't have the venue to be able to work on these and do them efficiently on the side and do as many as you really would need. Yes, the profit is 
there for you guys who have the time, have the space, but you also have to think about those things as well. So moving on, there are a couple of other things that you can do for making money on the side. And one of those other things is buying and selling car parts and tools off of Craigslist other online sites as well. I do know a couple of friends of mine, they've been purchasing tools, purchasing car parts, maybe doing some refinishing on those tools and car parts and selling those for a profit. Also, you're gonna be running into the same thing. There's a lot of them online, there's a lot of them out there, but you're also dealing with dishonest people and you've got a whole lot of work to be able to have to get done. You're dealing with online sales and you're having to go out and find all kinds of buyers for that as well. So also another kind of buy and sell. You know, if you're able to get that kind of a business running, then, you know, more power to you, but not as many people are able to make that kind of a side hustle work for them. And then there's always YouTube. One of those other things that if you strike it nice and you're able to get right in the correct niche of the market, you've got a good platform to be able to go on to, YouTube could be another thing that you could be able to sell yourself for and be able to help other technicians out, giving out advice, I don't know, things like I do. So it is able to be able to happen. If you haven't seen, I already did a video on me and how I do some of my YouTube videos and my content, what you guys need to focus on. You guys can also check that one out. And one of the last but certainly not least ways for you guys to make money on the side is to be an online consultant. Now what is that, you might ask? This is actually something that I did early on in my mechanics career. There are certain places online that are looking for not just the hands-on, but the knowledgeable expertise of some mechanics. People who have areas in the industry that they have expertise in electrical, special diagnostics, and one of those places, which I'm not gonna be advertising for them, but you know, it was a really good place for me to make extra money, is a place called JustAnswer.com. They don't have just automotive things on their site. They also have um, areas and categories to do with technology, computers, just there's a ton of them on there, but it's a place where people wanna go on and be able to talk to an expert about their car questions or their other questions that they have. And how exactly does that work, you might ask? Well, you have customers who go onto their site. They know that you have the expertise, so they put in their question. The site, based on what kind of questions you're asking, how much expertise that you're needing for that question, they put a dollar amount on the question that you're asking. You ask the question, say for instance, you know, I've got this issue with my blower motor, you know, I've checked this, I've checked this, I've checked this, and I still can't get it to work. You put the question in, and from a pool of different experts in that field, somebody will pick that question up. You get talking to them, you know, either you can do it over a phone call or message on their site. You go through the diagnostic process with them and hopefully in the end help them to figure out their issue. Once they have reached the point where they have figured out their issue, they can go ahead and give you guys the thumbs up and say, yes, this person helped me out. That original payment that they put in to be able to ask the question, minus just answers, fees for having the site of course, then the money gets transferred to you. They pay you out one time a month, and it's an extra easy bit for you guys to be able to make money on the side. I've seen guys make anywhere from you know 50 to 100 extra bucks all the way up to a couple thousand extra dollars a month. It all depends on how much time you want to devote to sitting in front of a computer or sitting in front of the screen on your phone, helping these customers back and forth, going through wiring diagrams. You know, it's just an online consulting fee, you know, for you guys to give your expertise to them. So what are the positives about places like Just Answer? A, you don't have to put any money into it. You don't have to put any capital, you know, it's just time. And you have to think about that ahead of time. If time is precious for you, this is something where the more time you put into it, the more money and the more revenue you're gonna be able to make from that source. You don't have to deal with customers in the sense of you know them coming back on you or anything like that. It's all through the site. You don't have to deal with anybody face to face. It's all online. You don't have any kind of overhead. You don't have to have tools with it. Having an online source for wiring diagrams is helpful for you in this sense, but you don't have to have a whole lot of money wrapped up into it. You have to go on to their site and you have to pass their original uh, testing to prove that you 
are an expert in that certain field. So keep that one in mind. But if you're looking for an extra source of making money without putting a lot of extra cash forward ahead of time like it is with flipping cars, then the online sector might be something for you guys to try out. That's about all the different ideas I had for you guys today. I know everyone's always got those rough months, especially when you're working in the flat rate system and especially when you're right out of the school or right out of training. You're going to have a couple of those months where things are a little bit shorter, so hopefully some of these ideas of getting that side hustle on and making that little bit of extra dough on the side is able to help you guys out. I really just want you guys to keep in mind, you have to keep on thinking about yourself. Don't get too burnt out with doing these things. If it gets to the point where doing side hustle is burning you out in your day-to-day -day life and your mechanics work, I just want you guys to just be wary of that one. Make sure you guys don't do too much, don't put too much on your plate. I know the world is kind of a harsh place and you gotta do what you gotta do, but keep that one in mind as well. Well, that's about all I've got for you guys today. Make sure you go and check out our website, toolheadscrate.com. We've got that going on for you. We're our monthly subscription crate service for tool lovers like myself, yourself. We've got that monthly box to be able to come to you guys. We're gonna have things such as shop supplies, tools, there's always gonna be tool things involved. You name it. You're not gonna know what's gonna be in it. That's the whole point of it. A fun monthly subscription crate that you guys aren't gonna know. It's gonna be a surprise for you guys. Everyone's gonna love it. And don't forget that every single month we're gonna be giving out a golden wrench. To one lucky box subscriber, we're gonna be giving you guys a chance at winning a tool of valued over $100. This month, as you've seen in my Instagram and Facebook feeds, we've already announced what we're gonna be giving away as our golden wrench tool, and that's the 3 8 Milwaukee Stubby Set. That's gonna be a really awesome tool, and one lucky subscriber is gonna be able to get that one. Make sure you go sign up for yours today. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate everything that everyone has done for me. Make sure you guys stay awesome.